came sliding down the ways at the James Yard in 1926, long ago. Down the Essex River to Gloucester to be fitted out for fishing, she would go. She's adventure with Gloucester fishing sooner. She's fished the banks and sailed to Maine to serve as a windjammer. Hello. This is David Lufkin and Cape Ann TV welcoming you aboard the Gloucester Fishing Schooner Adventure. And today there's going to be quite an adventure. We will be sailing in the schooner race later on today. And first order of business is we will be leading the parade of sails. Adventure was the nonprofit that was um, brought up to support Schooner Adventure when it was donated to the citizens of Gloucester in 1988. Schooner Adventure was built in 1926 in the John James Yard in Essex. It was a dory fishing schooner and she was the last dory fishing schooner on the eastern seaboard when she stopped fishing in 1953. Um, she was then turned into a wind jammer and brought up to to Camden and then when it was returned to Gloucester we um, someone was smart enough to go out with her um, on her last three years of fishing and took photographs and we also have um, movies of the men actually doing the fishing so we are with that background information we um, are a national historic landmark or a national treasure and we have been spent the last 20 years restoring her to be a, um, an educational schooner. We are restoring her back to her, her fishing confirmation. Hopefully we're here as a platform for the citizens of Gloucester and to use it's an icon of the fishing industry of Gloucester and um, we, we welcome school children. We'll be taking public sales but our main focus is education and we're working with the various schools and organizations to find out exactly how they would like to use us. Thank you very much Joanne. You're welcome. Enjoy the day. past two years I've been more involved in helping uh, with some rigging advice and just generally uh, trying to be available uh, as needed. Uh, I worked with Harold as a volunteer for the adventure and the uh, first thing we did was went out to Hog Island in the middle of Ipswich Bay to cut down some trees and in the middle of February and hauled them out of there and back up to his yard so they could be shaped and made into the, uh, into the various uh, spars. One of my favorite things is once you get the boat all put together, it's really nice to uh, see it sailing again and seeing what all these small knots and little things that you've been putting together do. Sailing is just a completely different aspect of what we're doing as volunteers. Um, before it was scraping, painting, um, trying to stop rot, and now here we are sailing 14 years later from when I first started. The woodworking that goes on a boat like this, uh, like the mast hoops that uh, hold the sails to the mast, that's not something that people make every day. So along with some of the other people, we figured out how to make those and we made them in my shop over on the other side of Gloucester. Hi, right, we're heading back into port now. The race is over. It's been a great day. This has just been a fantastic experience, and it is just really something to see all these people working together as a team. It takes a lot more people to sail this vessel than I thought. Fish the banks, I sailed to Maine to serve as a windjammer.